Introduction to Computing. To get subtitles, click the CC button and make sure it is underline in red. Then press the settings button where the subtitle selection will pop up. A pop up will appear which says subtitle tab. And you can select your subtitles from there. To adjust subtitle font size, click on options. A pop up will appear and you can select the percentage of the size of your subtitles. It takes us about 20 hours to create each video. So if you like it, please like and subscribe if you can. Thank you. Morning Bob. I heard you got a new PC for your desk. PC. What's that? PC is an acronym for personal computer. Oh, it's here. So what's that thing you're moving about with your hand? A mouse. Let's switch it on and go into Windows. Now, look at all these icons on the screen. If I point the cursor at one of them, and then double click, I can open any of them up, and take a look inside. And what is inside? Well, let's do a bit of word processing. That's just a way of saying you're going to create some text. You mean I'm going to type something? That's right. You can open up a new file, and then you can access any of these pull-down menus. But what if I type something and make a mistake? You can delete it like this. But it's also very important to save everything you produce. And if I want to move some text from one place to another? You select all the text you want to move, and then move it like this. And you can also copy text like this. And how do I get it from the screen onto paper? The computer is connected to a printer, and so you can send a message to it from here. And what about figures? Can it add up? Yes. You can go into spreadsheet like this and create tables and charts. I've heard other computing words that I'm not sure about the meaning. Can you explain them to me? Sure. What are they? Okay. For example, what is a CPU? CPU. That's central processing unit. It's one of the most important pieces of hardware in any digital computing system, if not the most important often referred to as the brain and heart of all digital systems. A CPU is responsible for doing all the work. It performs every single action a computer does and executes programs. Okay. And what's a VDU? VDU. That's an abbreviation for visual display unit. A piece of equipment with a screen on which information from a computer can be shown. And how about a modem? That's a device that converts signals produced by one type of device, such as a computer, to a form compatible with another, such as a telephone, and that is used specially to transmit and receive information between computers via landlines. Fantastic. Thanks, Jim. See you around. No problem, Bob. Glad I could help. Click. The act of pressing a computer mouse button once without moving the mouse. Double click the act of selecting something on a computer screen by quickly pressing a button on a mouse two times. Copy the act of duplicating text, data, files, or disks, producing two or more of the same file or segments of data. Cursor the position indicator on a computer display screen where a user can enter text. Delete the act of eliminating a file, text, or another object from the computer hard drive, or other media. File, a container in a computer system for storing information. Icon, an image on the computer screen that represents an application, a capability, or some other concept or specific entity with meaning for the user. For example, on a computer, with an operating system from Microsoft or Apple, the icon from the company. Central processing unit, the primary component of a computer that acts as its control. Center. Visual display unit, a piece of equipment with a screen on, which information from a computer can be shown. 
Modem, a hardware device that allows a computer to send and receive information over telephone lines. Recycle bin, or where files go when they are deleted, is represented by the image of a small trash bin. Menu, a set of options presented to the user of a computer application to help them find information or execute a function. Mouse, a small device that a computer user pushes across a desk surface in order to point to a place on a display screen to select one or more actions to take from that position. Personal computer, a microcomputer designed for use by one person at a time. Printer, a device that accepts text and graphic output from a computer and transfers the information to paper. Save, to copy the document record or image being worked on to a storage medium. Select, highlighting text or picking an object. Spreadsheet, a computer program that can capture, display, and manipulate data arranged in rows and columns. Word processing, the process of creating and editing documents on a computer. Hi Steve, do you use technology much? What do you use mostly? Oh yeah. I use technology almost every day. Mobile phones, internet, word processors. I also go on through a lot of the major social media sites. Can you talk me through some of the basics? I'm not very technical. Start from the very beginning. Sure. For a lot of programs I use, the first thing I have to do is log on. I do this by keying in my username and password. When I'm writing a report, I need to do a lot of research online. If I'm reading a long document, I will need to scroll down or scroll up until I find the information I need. Okay, great. What do I do if a screen image is too small? If an image is too small, I may need to zoom in. If it is too large, I can zoom out. If I need to copy information, I click on the mouse, and then highlight the information I want. Do you always back up your work? If so, where do you store your work? Oh yes, Hatomi, you must do that. You don't want to lose hours of hard work. You must always copy your work in two places. I save everything onto my memory stick. This can also be called a USB a pen drive or a flash drive. I also back everything up on the hard drive. If I run out of space on my memory stick, I will need to get a new one. When the report is finished, I will print it out. Do you think computer systems are safe? A lot of people don't do online banking because they're afraid that someone will hack into their account. I used to feel that way, too. But to be honest, I would say that online banking is fairly secure these days. Choose a difficult password with numbers, symbols uppercase, and lowercase letters. When my session is finished, I will log out and shut down the computer. Glossary. Login. To connect to a computer using a username and password. Key in. To type characters using a keyboard. Scroll down. To move slowly towards the bottom of a text. Scroll up to move slowly towards the top of a text. Zoom in, to make a screen image seem larger and nearer. Zoom out, to make a screen image seem smaller and further away. Click on, to move a mouse over an item and select. Back up, to make an extra copy of a file. Run out of, to have no more of something. Print out, to produce a paper copy of an electric document. Hack into, to enter a computer or network illegally. Shut down, to turn off a computer. Thank you for your support. If you like this video, please like and share it. New video every week.